Okay, I think we're on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm just trying my best, guys. I don't know what's happening. Welcome to my stash parade. I was having really big issues all morning. It's almost 12 and I've been trying to do this since 9 o'clock. So I decided to go live. I'm not expecting anyone to join us, us, as in me and my dogs. Um, but this will upload after the live stream anyway. So I'm going to go through my um, stash. And I also have um, some pasta stash as well that I'd like to go through too. So I'm kind of just taking this as like a, um, you can, it's a video without being able to edit it <laughs> pretty much, which has been insane. That means I've had to, um, I'm just seeing some people join me. So welcome. There's a chat if you want to say anything. Um, yes. So there was a bit that I did record about some, projects that I can't show you, some stash I can't show you because of um, they're online and it's a bit hard for me to kind of show you those during a live stream. So I'm going to just kind of show you some stuff and this is a bit weird. I'm a bit uncomfortable, but we'll go for it. We'll see what happens. Um, anyway, this is really weird. <laughs> we'll have fun. Feel free if you're watching to um, write something in the chat. I'll kind of interact as well as I can. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I've got a couple of different folders of stuff I'm going to go through for my stash parade. Um, the first one is from a company called Geeky Stitching Co. Um, and that actually, before I even keep going, I want to spruik something. I created a Pokemon cross stitches Facebook group. So if you search Pokemon cross stitches, join it and see what everyone's doing. You don't have to stitch Pokemon. You can just see what we're doing as well. So I'd love to see you there. Anyway. Let's go back to the topic. The first folder I'm going to show you, which is just here, this has all of my Geeky Stitching Co. stuff in it. So um, Geeky Stitching Co. is a company that does a subscription box every month, I think it is. And um, I was joined with them for about a year. And then I did stop just due to having too much stash um, and too many of these kind of kits. I wanted to kind of get something a bit different. So let's have a look through. I'm not going to take these out just because it's like really loud. It's going to take forever. Um, so let's see how we go. This one here is You're So Sweet. And I don't know if you remember this, but I have stitched it. I stitched it for my mum. I gave it to her for Mother's Day. So that's that one. This is going to be really quick. These ones anyway. Um, this is Suck It Up. Clearly, this was a, um, what was that? It was a, like a lollipop box. So that was what was in there. And this one is You Make Me Believe in Magic. Not obviously lollipops, but it is like uh, the similar aesthetic to it. So, yeah. This one here is a little burger. And I stitched this for a friend of mine. Um, I didn't actually mean to. I just kind of did it. <laughs> um, and it was for the end of uni and I stitched it. I put some arms and legs on it too, just back stitch those in. And um, I gave it to her in a little frame because we used to eat burgers all the time together. So it was fair enough. Um, this one is Life is Tough. This one... Um, I stitched for myself, <laughs> I think, and I put it on a canvas um, that you would have seen in one of my recent videos. Being nice is cool. Um, I'm thinking, let's see if we can see that. I'm thinking of um, stitching this for the kids at school. That's what I want to do. And have it in my classroom and just point to it all the time. Squeeze me. I've stitched that. It's on a canvas. That's what I'm talking about. When I mean canvas finishes, I get a canvas and I wrap it around and pin it at the back. I don't do a stitcherista finish and make it look beautiful. It's just kind of tucked around there. Take it squeezy. These boxes are very putty, so they do a lot of puns um, and stuff based on what it's themed on. Kill them with kindness. I really hope this is actually working and I'm not just talking to nothing. How embarrassing would that be? 
It probably isn't. This is a kit. So this is what the kits kind of look like. It has a hoop, fabric, thread, a needle, and the pattern. This was a Christmas one from, I think it was November 2016. It's only Christmas. Just chill, it's only Christmas. You light me up. This one is that one. Where, which way do I point? There. There we go. Um, this is one that I actually purchased from Geeky Stitching Co's website. It's not one from the box. I did omit this apostrophe because it is not grammatically correct. I'm teacher. Cut out myself. Oh, the postman's here. That's exciting. Um, okay. This one is... Let's party. It has a watermelon and a burger having cocktails. That's another kit. That was from like a New Year's box. Treat yourself. Donuts, drinking. I'm trying to get through these quick so I can get to the cool stuff. Hug it out. That's another one that I finished like that one. Whoop. That one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Prickly. Be awesome or don't bother. You make me feel gooey. Finish that as well as the canvas. Fries for four guys. Squad goals. Those marshmallows are adorable. I love them. Another kit is I am a mermaid. And when I recorded this this morning, I thought it would be cool if you changed the hair to like your best friend's colored hair and it could be you too. That'd be pretty cute. No bad vibes. And the last one is just a mermaid. So, yeah. That is where I'm at. Um, to the people that are watching, because there is a couple of you, if this isn't working and you're just looking at a blank screen, let me know. But if it is working, that's cool. That's all I need to know. Um, the way that I store my stash, uh, my main stash, is in this. It's quite heavy. This is like an accordion filing system. Um... I got this from Matt because he asked me if I would use it for something and I said, oh, yeah, I could use it for stitching. So I kind of try to organise this in um, designer, by designer, so I have all of the same designer in one section. Um, but that doesn't always work. But I'm doing pretty well at doing that at the moment. Okie doke. Let's start with this one. This is from Juniper Designs. It is, there goes the glue, okay. It's called the Fabric Collector. I'm even gonna make a little bit of a change to this when I do it. It says, she who dies with the most fabric wins, and this one, she who collects the most fabric wins. I'm gonna change it to stash. This writing is really easy to replicate, so I'm not too fussed about changing that one. And it is a kit, so it comes with everything as well. Uh, let's have a look. This one is King of the Hill, and that is by Custom Crafts. It's a um, full coverage wolf. It's also a kit. The next two are from Dimensions. The first one is Magic in Motion. This is designed by Lane Gordon. It's a wizard. Yet yeah, another kit. I don't didn't think I had so many kits, and this is Soul Music. That's designed by Lee Cable. The next one was a gift from my dear, 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 dear friend Adele um, in her advent calendar that she sent me. And it's Country Cottage Needleworks Gingerbread House 2. Um, she gave me some fabric, the Week Starworks, the DMC. All I need to do is get some... Uh, classic color works, I think it is. Yeah, two of those. Um, depending on how this stitches, I might stitch all of them. I might just stitch one. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. So, yeah, that's that one. I'm getting through this a lot quicker than I did when I filmed it, and I think it's just because this is weird. <laughs> it's like improv or something. It's really strange. This is a Dimensions Gold Collection kit, and it's called Tenderness at Sunset. This was um, given to me by Granny 
it comes in like a bag um but it's intense so that's gonna have to wait until i finish some larger stuff i think um what have i missed okay the next few um are from cross stitch crazy i was subscribed to cross stitch crazy for how long was it for i think about a year and i just never resubscribed to it so i took out all of the patterns which are here that i want to stitch and I gave the magazines away. So I either gave them to Stitching Friends or I gave them to the after school care group at school that um, some of the kids do cross stitch, which is pretty awesome. So I'll just go through them. Some of them I have the magazine um, month, some of them I don't. Just depends if I remember to write it down. This is from February 2017. And it's this alphabet of patchwork letters. I'd like to do something like this, but I don't know if I do home. I'd have to kind of figure out what I want. That's that one. I need to find room. Uh, the next one is Peter Rabbit. Massive, massive part of my childhood. Um, when I was eight, I went to... Sorry, my phone's over already. We'll ignore it. Um, we went to England, and I think we went to either her house or somewhere where she grew up or something. Really big part of my childhood, Peter Rabbit. Love it. This one is from April 2017, and it's Stitching is My Happy Place. I think when I sit this, I will make it into some kind of cushion like it has here. And then I will put it where I stitch, which is actually just over there, which, which is where I really thought I would be by now during the day, but apparently not. But that's okay. I'm here. No worries. Wedding sampler. April 2016. Happily ever after. I said this in my last video that I would like to stitch this for myself if I ever get married. But don't please don't tell me that, that. That's just I don't want to I don't want to deal with it. This one is does it have a name? I think it does, but I think I didn't rip out that page. April 2016. It's like a merry-go-round horse. There you go. Next one I think most people have seen. Um, it's from May 2016 and it's the Wizard of Oz piece. Is this Satsuma Street or someone else? Because I can't see a designer on here and I swear I've seen it somewhere else that isn't in here. I don't know, but I swear it is. Next one is from 2016 in November and it's these sleeping animals. So you've got a cat, a deer, a fox, and this one. Now, I've got the pattern, so I know what it looks like. It might be like a beaver or a hamster. Squirrel. I'm so stupid. It's a squirrel. Okay, we don't have them here. So I don't remember that they exist. This is the problem with live streaming. I can't cut that out. It's just going to be here now. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> January 2017. It's the snow castle. Beautiful piece. Love it, love it, love it. This is from February 2017 and it's the mandala. Don't know if I'd finish it like that, but I would find something cool for it. Don't know. This one is that one. This one is a, it's a home sampler from February 2017. I hate this fabric that they've put it on. Um, there's a light pink thread. In this that you can barely read, I think I would change the fabric or the pink. I don't know which one, but I would definitely not do it on something like that. What fabric is that anyway? Um, I don't know. Doesn't say. This is another wedding sampler. I think I wanted to give this to mum and dad, but I've chosen a different one if you've seen my previous videos um, from Stitch Rovia. But this is from May 2017. But I'm kind of getting to the point in my life where quite a few friends and stuff are getting married, so they're always good to have. This is from the Christmas 2016 edition. It's a little wreath, which I love. Gorgeous. And this one is from May 2017, and it's some geometric animals. Uh, wolf, fox, lion. Um obviously it comes out they actually are that size the wolf is smaller than the fox which is smaller than the lion um i think those two should be switched but that's just me um matt really loves these and when he loves something 
that could potentially be cross stitch because it gets him excited for my projects and then I can just like love it. Okay, next we've got some soda stitch designs. Um, these come from a variety of people, so I'll let you know if they're a gift or if I just bought it. This is interesting. I washed my hair today and it just, just it's too fluffy. This is why I shouldn't live stream. Anyway, we've got World Collection, which is awesome. This has Korea, Netherlands, India, China, Greece, Spain, Japan, and Egypt. Um, I've currently got the Disney Princesses collection going at the moment, and this one, I really want to do this one. Um, I don't know how I'd do it because there is so many ideas here, but I don't think I'd do it with the guys one. Um, I think I'd just do it with the, the cute girls. This one was a gift from my friend Emma on Facebook, and it's Ice Cream Ladies. Super cool. Love it, love it, love it. The next couple are gifts from Adele. Um, the first one is Flying Candy. She also gave me some pink Ada to stitch that on. And the other one is Love Bears with some pink Ada as well. I have the companion piece of this, which is Luck Bears. I need to frame it, but I have stitched it. Um, it looks awesome when the back stitch pops up. I did get a little bit over stitching it. I don't know if it's because of the, the amount of colours or something in each of the bears, but um, it looks really good. So that'll be fun to stitch. Um, this one I bought myself last year, Four Seasons Dogs. Super cute. I'd like to do it with the seasons like that one. You can see it underneath there. It has summer, autumn, winter, spring which is how I would do it because that's how we say it in Australia. And Beauty and the Beast, another gift from Emma. Um, I'm going to stitch this as a gift for someone, but I'm not going to say who because they could potentially watch. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> so that's that. That's my, my stitch rovia. my goodness. That's my soda stitch. The next three are some little kits that I have. Um, this one was a gift from a friend of Instagram and I'm not going to say her name because I don't think I have a permission, I haven't asked her. It's a Michael Powell bookmark kit in strawberry ice and how cool is the gradient here? It looks amazing. That'd be a fun one. It comes with everything here with some felt backing and stuff too. Um, this one was a free gift from Cross Stitch Crazy, one of the last issues I think that I had. Um, that comes with the hoop and things too. This one here has a kind of a small quick story with it. Um, the women in my family, so granny, auntie, mum, sister, and two of my three girl cousins, we go on um, a crafting weekend. It started last year. It's happening again this year. Sounds like it's going to be annual. Most of them stitch, um, knit. I stitch. Some of them stitch when they feel like it, but mostly they knit. My cousin said she wanted to relearn cross stitch, and so I bought her this because it had back stitch, full cross, and a half stitch in it. Um, but I forgot to take it with me, didn't I? So I'm gonna try and remember to take it with me this year, and then she can, if she wants to, have a go. Otherwise, one day I might do it, or I might give it to the school after school care program. Um, this one is one from the Cricut collection. It's um, Skeleton Crew, sixteen men on a dead man's ship. And it's, um, this was part of a giveaway that I won from Tash, the star cross stitcher. She is, and it's really hard for me to say this, Tash Edge, Tash Edge on Instagram, T-A-S-H-A-G-E. It's hard to say. Um, but she's awesome. And she uploaded like two videos within the space of like a week. I died. It was awesome. So there's that one. I will stitch that at some point. Don't know when, but I will. The next one, oh, it's a little bit sad. Um, I purchased this one in July last year um, on the weekend that my pa passed away, and I purchased it because um, it reminds me of him. So these are galas, very Australian. Um, there's a quote, like a saying that one of our, I, I think other countries get home and away. I think it's home and away. I think it's that English 
who goes to England, I think. I don't know. But um, one of the guys in there calls people flaming galahs, and that's when they're being ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, this reminds me of Pa, and I think they're so cute because they look like little marshmallows. Adorable. Okay, the next one was passed down to me from Granny. Um, she got given it, and she said she probably wouldn't do it. I don't even know if I'm going to do this. Um, it's Laughing Kookaburras from Photo Threads, but I think it was purchased from the Fox Collection. It's got everything you need in it. Lots in there. Um, the next one was another gift from Emma. So generous. And it is the Bothy Threads Alice in Wonderland um, kit. And I can't wait to do this because I can do some crazy fabric behind it. I'll just show you this part of the pattern. She has started it, but I don't think that really matters. I can either photocopy it again or just highlight over the top or just not highlight it. Or maybe use grey lead or something. I don't know. But that's that. And I will be passing this on when I finish because it got passed to me. No point keeping it if I'm never going to stitch it again. Okay, the next few are Prairie Schoolers. The first one was from Granny, and this is sampling uh, woodland samplings. It has rabbits and squirrels. I love the squirrels, so I'd probably stitch that one. Um, the next story are from Danielle Citrista. Last year she sent me quite a few um, patterns, which was very lovely of her. Um, a lot of the next few are from her, so I'll let you know what they are. This is the Three Pigs. This one is Little Red Riding Hood, and I cracked up laughing when I realised that it says here, uh-oh, like that's that's the best kind of that she would come up with. I love it though. I think it's hilarious. And this one is evergreen and it's my favourite thing because it has a reindeer butt. So if I was to stitch anything, it would probably be that. I would probably stitch the whole thing too, but that's amazing. That would be my kind of ornament. Oh, I'm a mess. Okay, okay. The next few I think are Plum Street samplings. Samplers, sorry. First one is Hello Spring. These are from Danielle as well. And these come with the threads too. Love that one. This one's Hello Summer, again, with some threads. Um, I don't know if anybody here can help me or when this gets uploaded to YouTube can help me, but I want to rechart this as the Australian flag and this as perhaps a kookaburra. I don't know, though. Um, I could just take out that and put something else there or even just nothing there because that it's like a nice motif. I'm not sure. I'll kind of decide when I get to it, but I like that one. And this one is gorgeous, dear friends. I love that piece. It's so pretty. That's my Plum Street samplers. Okay. I'm trying to kind of reach the back of this now. Got some Lizzie Cates. These are some of the alphabets, the seasonal alphabets. This is spring. Uh, this is autumn. Autumn's great. The only issue is that it has a pumpkin for her Halloween and Halloween is in October and autumn is not in October here. So I don't know if I'd just leave it because it's orange or perhaps change it. There's also a turkey, but it kind of blends in, so I don't really mind about that. Um, yeah. And this is winter, and I love the winter one because it's not overly Christmassy. It's snowy. I mean, it snows here, but in the mountains. It doesn't snow where I live. Um, but it's still wintry. I like that one. That would probably be the first one that I stitch. Um, it has got a bit of, like, holly or something there, but I can reach out that to something else. Okay, Lizzie Kate's are done. Oh, my goodness, did you see that? Again, the beauty of live streaming. Okay, this is an ink circles. It's called Turtles All the Way Down. There we go. Um, I'm getting towards the end of this folder, by the way. Okay. I'm just going to like a little bit like that. The next couple, this one is a blackwork design. Um, it's from Holbein, Holbein Embroidery, so blackwork specialists. It doesn't really have a name. That's it there. This is Emma Condon's chart book 
summer chart book from Cross Stitch Crazy, which I love. I'm really into Stitch Rovia at the moment, and I love these. They're awesome. The last thing is a pattern from Clouds Factory that um, if you've watched my channel in the past, you would have seen. It's the Starks. And I'm thinking that I'm going to stitch that probably um, when the new season is a bit closer, um, when I'm a bit more excited about Game of Thrones. That's my stash, people. That is everything that I have um, in terms of patterns. I'm going to move into past the stash now. This is kind of interesting how this is going to work um, in terms of a live stream. But I think if it, I hope this uploads um, afterwards, but it should be right. So if you would like any of the things that I'm about to show you, um, once this uploads, leave a comment letting me know or message me on Instagram. I'm at the moment, I've got a new phone. It's the Google Pixel 2 and it's really good for giving me YouTube notifications and like all other notifications too, but my iPhone was really slow at that. So it doesn't really matter where you um, message me because I'm going to get it. So just let me know. I'll let you know if it's available. This is going to be completely free. Excuse me. The only thing will be if that if somebody overseas wants quite a lot of stuff from this, which is totally fine. I want to get rid of it. You, I might just need some postage assistance, but um, probably not. So let's get through this past the sash segment, and then we'll be finished. And this is so much quicker than when I filmed it. My goodness. Um, these are sentimentals, they're little cards. We've got the doctor. Um, off to town. Little scholar. Wash lady. And the postman. So if any of those interest you, just leave the name of it down below. Um, the next three are some little... Um, books from magazines that I've received that I don't really think I'm going to stitch anything out of. The first one is the Designer Collection Birthday Chart Book. This is from Cross Stitch Crazy. The first one is Sweet Treats. It's like a collection of patterns. This was designed by Tiny Modernist. Um, the next, it's got stuff like cakes and things in there. Vintage Style. That's by Lucy Heaton. That has things like that in it. Enchanting Elves by Jane Schofield. Schofield. That has stuff like that in it. And then we've got a Doreen Jones collection, Super Birthday. So it's got comic book style, um, things like that. The next one is again from Cross Stitch Crazy and it's the festive chart book. So this one has three designers in it. Um, a Christmas Carol. This has got the 12 Days of Christmas stuff in it and it's um, Amanda Stevenson designed that. Polar Pals by Lucy Heaton and that has things like penguins and polar bears in it. Really cute. Um, they're actually quite full coverage as well, if that's what you like. And Joy to the World, Reason for the Season stuff. Very um, stained glass window-esque. And that's by Leslie Tier. So if you want that one, it's the Designer Collection Festive Chart Book. Leave it down below. Um, and this one is from World of Cross Stitching, and it's the ABC Chart Book. This has, I don't think I'm going to need to go through it because they're all on the front cover. We've got Union Jack style, um, the cupcakes. And there's also musical notes in letters. So they've got an alphabet for each of those. So that one's Word of Cross Stitch ABC chart book. Now we'll go into more um, some kits and patterns. So um, I'll try and say the name as clearly as I can so you can write that down in the comments or send me a message. Semco um, bookmark kit. Granny stitched me this one. So there's enough for this. You'll just need to get your own. Um, bookmark to stitch it on so that's all there Australian wildflowers this one I think this has been stitched and there's enough thread for this it's one or the other um, it does have DMC in there 
All of these that I'm showing you, if they were a kit and they don't have thread, I've double checked that you can get the DMC. Um, there were two that I was going to give away, but they don't have any conversion charts, so I didn't bother. But this one does. They all do. This is a Zweigart book of um, black work. It has all of these in there, as well as the flowers. Um, yeah, it's like all different types of black work stitch. That's an example of the back and what that looks like. So that's the Zweigart black work. By the way, if you're coming in and out, this is the past the sash section. So this stuff you can you can have if you'd like. <laughs> Wedding samplers by Leisure Arts, and they're designed by Joan Elliott. Hmm, I didn't realize that. Um, there's this first one, which says, um, "From this day forward, to love and to cherish, to have and to hold, and the two shall become one." Then there's a teddy bear one there. Um, this one says, today is the start of it, love is the heart of it. And this one says, united in love. And there's one on the back that is an anniversary one that says, love knows no limit to its endurance, no failing to its hope. And then you can put in the anniversary there. That's the Wedding Samplers by Joan Elliott. This is Charming Gardens, and this is designed by Rebecca Marsh. And there's wheelbarrows, pots of flowers. Cute little motif stuff. Next one is by Ellen Mora Stroh. I think that's how you say it. And it's Dahlia Basket. I can tell you that this has been stitched by Granny and it looks amazing. It looks really good. That one. Again, DMC is all in the back. So that's Dahlia Basket. This is by Cross My Heart Inc. and it's Butterfly Collection. It's got all of these butterflies in there. I think there's even, I oh know they're the same. Yeah, they're the same. <laughs> um, but like, that's kind of what it looks like. And there's a key next to each one of them. So that's the butterfly collection. This one is very Australian. So if you're overseas, it could be cool to have something Australian in your house and you can like tell the story of how it happened. Um, this is a Danico design floral clock. It's Banksia. And bottle. This is the Banksia, this is the bottle. That would be so embarrassing if I got that wrong, but I'm, I'm right. Um, the other option is that you can change the Banksia from um, red to honey colored. It's up to you. And then you can make it into a clock. It's all there for you. So that's the floral clock. This is country. There's, there's a fly hanging around my head and I'm over it. I'm so over summer, guys. I want winter so bad. <sighs> can't wait so long. Country threads. Blooming buddies. This is another kit. It's got all the floss in it. Um, when I did the um, one, another country threads kit, you'll see here, I didn't mind their floss. I don't know if it's DMC. I have a feeling it might be Anchor. I didn't mind it, though. It wasn't horrible kit floss. That's for sure. That's what you've got. You wouldn't even need to sit to the background if you didn't want to. You could easily take that out. That's the um, Blooming Buddies. This is a book, and I'm kind of glad I got a live stream because I can kind of go through it a bit more than I did. Um, it's the Omni book. It's by Jeanette Cruz Designs, and it's a bit of a weird book, but I kind of like it. <laughs> um, it's got lots of motifs specific to occupations, and a lot of little quotes specific to occupations. So I'm going to quickly go, not all of it, because that's going to take forever. But it's got things like cashier, check it out. Bus drivers are always coming and going. Like things like that, just like little silly quotes and things. So there's heaps of those. Um, not all of them are puns, but most of them are. Then you've got little. Um, motifs there. There's quotes here. So something like, old bankers never die, they just lose their balance. Huh? Huh? Um, some like clock things there too. There's heaps of stuff in here. So if you want that one, it's the Omni book. Or you can say that weird book with lots of puns in it. <laughs> I don't know exactly what you mean. The next one is a black work design that I have stitched myself. I got this in a giveaway, so I'm passing it on. Um, Marina. 
This is by Excalibur Counted Blackwork Design. And um, it has some variegated threads here. I don't know if there'd be enough to complete the whole thing. I think it'd be pretty close. Um, and then it's got the DMC for the rest. The only thing you need to get apart from your fabric is some silver metallic that goes in here. It doesn't have to be silver though. You can get whatever you want. Um, but that's it there. It's gorgeous. It looks beautiful stitched up. It's one of the ones I'm thinking of getting framed next. Um, there's, I think I've got three sitting there that need to be framed and I love this one. I kind of want to put it in the bathroom, but then I also want it to be like out on show a bit more, but I don't know. That's Marina. This is Ginger and Spice, Narcissus and Myrtle. Beautiful flowers. If anyone's just popped in, this is past the stash. Um, so any of these things that you're seeing now, um, you can let me know if you'd like them and I'll send them to you. DMC, the farm. That's another one, so just write the farm if you want that one. I was going to stitch this for a kitchen, but I found a stitch rovey piece that kind of suits us better. So that's what I'm doing instead. So I can pass this along. This is the Country Threads kit I um, stitched. It's Bluey's Boots. Um, this is actually at the framers right now and I can't wait to get it back. Um, now, the chart is okay. It's not ripped. It's not drawn on. The creases are just creased very heavily. <laughs> I also have all of the bobbins here for you. I bobbinated it myself. So you're welcome. Um, it's, I think it's anchor thread because it has an anchor conversion. Um, so if you need more, you just go and get the anchor thread. And I've actually written it on there with an A next to it. So I actually knew what it was. There's two numbers on there. So for example, 12, 12 is the 12 in the kit. And then the number for anchor is 1080. That's nice, right? Um, the only color you won't find in there is black because I actually used it for some of my epic Pokemon. I don't know why. I was going to keep them all because um, I'm like, why would I not use that? And then I used DMC and I was like, oh, DMC's everywhere. So that's that one. Stitches up beautifully. It's a great piece to work on. And I think this is the last one, guys. This is a Paul of Um, I didn't realize there were so many... Paula Vaughan fans out there. So this one is Tea, Roses and Romance. That's another one. And I'll just show you very quickly. This is the pattern. So you might want to do a working copy of that one. <laughs> um, so that's that one. So if you'd like that one, just say the Paula Vaughan piece and I'll know exactly what you mean. The other way I'm going to do this as well is after this goes up, I'm going to put it on Instagram so that my Instagram followers can also have a chance to have a look if they're not going to watch this, which is fine. That's up to them. Um, here's what's coming up over the next week before I go. I'm going to upload this. I'm going to try and film an update video next weekend if I can edit it and upload it and stuff. If not, this might be happening again. Um, I'm actually on my work laptop and I, I'm a bit worried about deleting stuff. So I kind of just want to, um, I'll either do it on, <coughs> excuse me, my computer or I'll just do a live stream tonight. But I do need to update because I've got a fair bit to talk about next week. My voice is going. I think I've talked for too long, for too long this morning. Um, the other thing is just if you didn't catch it before, there's a Pokemon group that I made um, for cross-stitching. I made it last night, Pokemon cross-stitches. Um, I'd love for you to join. I'm going to leave a link when this goes up. Um, you don't have to be stitching Pokemon to join. You can um, just have a look at everyone's stuff, get some ideas. Um, but if you are stitching Pokemon, I'd love for you to share your work with us so we can love it and love the Pokemon. And I posted that last night because I love Evie. So anyway. I don't think there's anything else. I'm going to stop. I'm going to try and upload this. I don't know how to work it, but I'm going to just have a go. And if it doesn't work, I'm not doing this video again. <laughs> thank you so much to the, um, I think we got up to seven viewers. So thanks. Um, and thanks for watching. If you're watching this after the broadcast, um, this is kind of fun. It's kind of different. Maybe I could do a stitch with me like this. That would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know. It's up to you guys. I'm I'm just happy this is kind of going to work. So I'm going to go. I'm going to have some food. I'm going to see how this works and have a great rest of your January. And I'll see you in a in about a week. Bye, everybody.